When we began working on the design of the potato cannon, we realized that there were two major design challenges. The first was the rate of fire needed to be faster than that of a normal potato cannon that uses aerosol. And that's about 15 to 30 seconds between loading. Number two was that potatoes come in a variety of different sizes and that makes them really difficult to load automatically. To start we created a frame just using 2x4s uh, that we painted green. This gave us a nice sturdy base to mount everything on. The first decision was to make the cannon pneumatic because we knew we could hook up our massive shop compressor and not worry about using things like hairspray as propellant. We were then able to start working on the first design challenge of increasing the rate of fire. And to do this, we developed a system that split the supply line into two chambers. These chambers have check valves that prevent air from reversing direction for a specific reason I'll explain. A differential pressure gauge is then connected between the two tanks, and the gauge is then connected to two electronic irrigation valves. The gauge is wired so that it selects the chamber with the highest pressure. And the check valves mentioned before prevent the tank with less pressure from releasing. Once together, we tested it and we found that the rate of fire was a little faster than one potato a second at about 50 psi in each chamber. All right, so on to the second design challenge, which is the potato sizing issue. We looked at a grenade launcher called the M32 for inspiration. From this inspiration, we decided to make a six cylinder revolver. Um, the revolver mechanism itself would be able to be removed, allowing you to put the potatoes in ahead of time, which got rid of the issue of inconsistent sizes. The cylinder would be rotated by a simple rubber band that would be wound around the entire mechanism. And then once you fired the mechanism, it would trigger a pneumatic actuator at the same time. And in doing so, it would lock the cylinder in the correct place. This proved to be one of the most difficult areas to fit properly and led to a lot of jamming. Oh,